lacking and you can deal with it. Don't criticize and try to point finger on who is not. Because why you think God allow you to see that the church had one cut? To criticize and point finger? No. Why you think God allow you to see that the church floor one clean? Why you think God allow you to go inside the bathroom and the scent is not so fresh? The message God has sent you. Don't ask any question here too. You don't ask any question here. Just hold the questions. It's not question segment as yet. Just hold all the questions until. Amen. Praise God. So, 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 so the truth is, I was at hideaway lane in Negril. And there was somebody that came to the church and got baptized. And the person didn't get the Holy Ghost. And after service over, I saw the person doing something that many persons ignore. The person was raking the churchyard. When I see the person doing that, I said, my God, I hope when God if he bless you, we know nobody will lang up their mouth. And you know what happened night? Who feel with the Holy Ghost? Huh? And the same person. It was a test. Let me tell you something. A heart, God deal with innocence. God deal with a heart. Amen? God deal with your Based upon the condition of your heart. That is what God use and work. On your behalf. What if the person was finding fault? Because the person realized that there is something that she needs from God. So that person said, Well, if I church you had one rig, me we rake it because I need God. I need God's favor upon my life. I need God to work on behalf. Of me. Praise God. I want God to work on my behalf. So the person didn't see Rick in the yard as degradable. Amen. So that is why I'm saying you must look at yourself needing favor from God. So when you need favor from God, this put protest because you have a person going to the bathroom. And when they go into the bathroom, they realize that certain section of the bathroom is in a mess. And you know what they do? All they do, they skin up their nose and come out. And then come complain. Where the reason why God allowed them to see it is because God knows that they are in the position. They can do something about it. Amen. You have persons that go into the bathroom to use the bathroom you know, because they see the bathroom mess up. They nobody use it, you know. Then go next door. Over there in friend. You think God now watch that? Just as how you want somebody to clean the bathroom. So you can use it. Comfortable. You don't think so you can clean it so that somebody else can use it comfortable too. So how you don't look at it as important. The Bible says anything that you want somebody to do to you. What you must do? You feel do it. If you want to, if you desire the church compound to be kept, God wants you to be a part doing it. Amen. Because too many times, praise God. You know what I realize? You know that the church is that doesn't manifest the power as this ministry when you look on their compound not even one leaf the 
The church that don't have full truth. When you look on their property, it looks so neat and well kept. But the church that have the truth, they neglect this area. All everybody is focusing on the, 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 the pulpit. They, all, they just want this desire to go on the pulpit and take the mic. Praise God. So we have to change that, change up all of that. If you go into the bathroom and you know that there's something wrong, try and help. Don't point finger because anytime you point finger, one finger always a point back on you, you know. You will go inside the bathroom and when you go inside the bathroom, you realize that one of the bowl is not looking so clean. What do you think you're supposed to do? Hold on, a who's a a, 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 a house of worship? Not for you. Not for your house of worship. Now they say you can't worship God. Now they say you can't get your blessing. Huh? That means that we have to take care of God's building. We have to take care of the place of worship. Even though the Jehovah's Witness, they don't have the full truth, you know. You ever see one Jehovah's Witness property? But in church, you ever see that? Huh? The grass won't cut and nobody now cut it unless somebody special can cut it. And over there have a whole heap empty container throw down pan. You ever see that? Why you think that don't happen? Even though they don't have full truth, but there is something that we should adapt from them than they criticize them. Praise God. All around you, there is something that you can adapt from even somebody when now serve God. There is some principles. Amen. Praise God. So it doesn't make sense. We say so we have the truth. And then because we have the truth, there is certain area. We must make sure that every area that is lacking, we, 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 we take care of that area. And, and, and stop the pointing of fingers. Because pointing of fingers don't solve nothing. Don't care what position you hold. As long as this is something that is to be done and you can do it, just do it. Because the person that's supposed to do it and not do it, me do it. God see my heart. And then the blessing with him that we get me or get for me and me I get for you too. Praise God. Because you have persons where they know that this is what they ought to do. And they don't do it. And when they don't do it and somebody has come and do it, they make me would have glad, oh Jesus, me would have glad if when me come one Sunday morning, somebody had done Sunday school. Me would have glad. Praise God. So you supposed to do this. And you not do it. And when somebody come and do it, you beg. That means, oh Jesus, that's not a good spirit. Praise God. So I just want to encourage you, saints. Honor whatsoever God called you to do, honor it. And when you honor it, you're not late. If God called you to be an usher, you are the first person with your church. Because everybody will come through the door have to pass you. And you are the doorkeeper. Any demons will want to come in and you them have to pass. So if God called you to be a usher, you're supposed to be the first person at church.
Praise God. Amen. And if God, and if you know, see how you feel moderate, oh yeah, come to church. Yeah, they're the last person to come to church. You know you're supposed to do praise and worship. How come that you're the last person to come to church? That means you know another position, the man. And when you come, go and see somebody, do what you're supposed to do, your begs. Everything he want to do. Everything he want to do. I'm going to do video berry. I mean, I don't know competition. You think I don't know competition? Vashti didn't honor what she was called to do. And that is what happened to her. She was removed. Mood. God can do without me, I'm sure. God no need me. Because something I when you need something, it's been you can't do without it. God no need me. Me need God. That is why I honor. What I'm called to do. Amen. And if I come and see somebody doing what I'm supposed to do, me now I'm vex. I'm happy. Praise God. And we must love to celebrate one another. If you come and see somebody doing something that you're supposed to do, celebrate the person, man. Encourage the person. Don't puff up your face like. Are you alone? And if you don't do it, it can't be done. And not only you can't do it. God always has somebody better than you. So honor what you are called to do. When you honor what you are called to do, ah, God, your friend, you see how God start exalt you and promote you. Promotion not come from the east, nor from the west. Promotion cometh from the Lord. Praise God. So the floor is open. You can go ahead and ask your questions that you have, that you want to ask. Praise God. If you have a question, don't just shout. Put your hand up, and then the person with the mic will come towards you. Amen. Praise God. Bless the Lord, sir. I always hear a person um, saying that God help those that help themselves. How true that is, that is. Even though it is quoted by persons many times that God help those who help themselves, it is not in the scriptures. Because if you can already do the thing, you don't need no help. God help the person that can't. And when God help the person that can't, and when it is done, who you think will get the glory? God because the person couldn't do it. So, in other words, what the scripture is showing you that God don't call you to do something that you can do. God call you to do something that you can't do and you need his help. So when he, you, he helps you, he gets the glory because all glory belongs to God. Bless the Lord, sir. Um, can you explain Ezekiel 12 from 21 to 25 and Hosea 12 from 12 to 13? Ezekiel 12, 21 to 25.
Verse 21 says, And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is that proverb that you have in the land of Israel? Say, the days are prolonged and every vision faileth. Tell them therefore, thus saith the Lord, I will make this proverb to cease and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But say unto them, the day are at hand, the days are at hand, and the effect of every vision. For there shall be no more any vain vision, nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. Verse 25, I said. For I am the Lord, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged, for in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word, and will perform it. Praise God. And so, God was speaking of the time of the church age when, when he released a word. He will bring it to pass quick in the Old Covenant, in the Old Covenant, in the Old Testament. There are many persons that say the Lord say and that say that they get a vision and God didn't speak so what they say they see or what they get don't come to pass. God is speaking of a time when the gift of prophecy will be released and so when God said it you will know the difference that it is not people's mind. It's not people's dream or vision. But it is from God. Through the gifts of the Spirit. So, if you notice, even with Ezekiel or Jeremiah, when Jeremiah prophesied and said, God says the Babylonian is going to come and destroy this place. They didn't believe Jeremiah. But you have a lot of prophets that prophesied and say, Jeremiah is a false prophet and it's not coming to pass because God will not allow the Babylonians to defeat the Jewish people. And even after God did what he said to Jeremiah, when they were in Babylon, there were many dreamers and visioneers that declared to Israel that only two years you are going to stay in bondage. Jeremiah said, God said 70 years. I believe this scripture is speaking of Persons that love to talk about, they get vision from God, dreams from God, and speak what, what is on their mind and say, thus say God. God is saying a time is coming, which is the church age, when, when they say, I get a vision, or I get a word, I get a dream from God, or say, God said, there will be the gift of discerning of spirit to identify which spirit is speaking. If it's their mind, are they speaking from their heart and not from God?
Yes, sir, as I was saying, um, there's another, Hosea 12, verse 12 and 13. Hosea chapter 12, verse 12 and 13. And it reads, And Jacob fled into the country of Syria, and Israel served for a wife, and for a wife he kept sheep. And by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt, and by a prophet was he preserved. So, Hosea is speaking of the, the, the strength, the power, the effectiveness of the prophet's word. Anytime God is going to do anything, he reveal it to a prophet and use a prophet to speak, to declare it. And then God perform it. So verse 12 is speaking of Jacob. Jacob fled from his brother to Syria. And he served Laban seven years for his wife. And when he got the wrong wife, he, he worked another seven years. Because the first one that he worked for, he didn't get that one. And he worked another seven years and his pay, his pay was sheep. After a while. All right? And by a prophet, God brought Israel out of Egypt. So, I, I preached this a few weeks ago. That God wanted to bring Israel out of Egypt. God, speak the word to Abraham that 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 israel would stay in egypt for 400 years but when you calculate into the maths israel spent 430 years and the question is why the 30 years because god was searching for a man god came down on the mountain want to deliver israel but god need a man to use god have to have a man to speak the word and then God perform it. So that prophet was Moses. Until today, 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 God, and, and I was saying, I was saying that the prophet hold the key. Remember, I speak of Matthew 7 7 that seek and, and um, ask and it shall be given, seek and it, you shall find, knock and the door shall be opened. And I explain that. You, after you see God, then God release that which you seek him for. But, but because it is released in the realm of the spirit, it is hidden from you. It is hidden and it is locked away. And it is locked because uh, you go and knock because you don't have the key for that. So you have to find somebody with the key to unlock that door so that you can walk in that dimension and walk in that blessing and walk in that deliverance so every deliverance every breakthrough every every everything that you should receive in this life there is somebody that god entrusts with the key to unlock that for you israel could not come out of egypt without a prophet going and speaking a word and when the prophet speak the word remember even the red sea when 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 moses saw the sea and realized that he need to go through the sea what what god said to him what is that in your hand in other words moses have to do something god just don't open the sea 
The prophet have to release the word. And then God said, all right. Each plague, each plague, each plague. Before God released those plagues, Moses had to open his mouth and speak. All right. Each situation. Let's say somebody is born with cancer. For that person to be delivered from cancer. Somebody have to open their mouth. And when you speak by faith, God give his angels charge to what? To fight and to release the person from sickness, disease, whatever the situation, problem, um, poverty. So that's what verse, verse 12 and 13 is saying. That God, by a prophet, God brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet, and by a prophet was he preserved God's word. The nation of Israel, if there was no Moses, the nation of Israel would, would, would because remember the Bible speak of the, the house of Egypt. So it's like it, it, it's a spiritual house. And there's a door out of that spiritual bondage. And Pharaoh was the one with the authority that hold the keys to Egypt house. And God gave Moses the authority to break down the door and set Israel free. Is there anybody in here feel like God wants to raise you up and give you keys to different dimensions hallelujah anybody feel like you, you it is like god is going to raise you up that that's what that's what ella mullins was, was speaking earlier you, you see god raise up persons who know how to honor you have to respect if you don't respect it if you don't respect that office you can never, you will never receive the angel that worked behind that office. While I was talking to Elamon, you know what scripture came to me? Many are called, but few are chosen. You know what that means? Many persons are called to salvation. Many persons are called to, to, to deliverance, to baptism in Jesus' name, receiving, to be, become a part of the kingdom. Many persons are called, but, but only few are chosen for office. And God don't just put office, uh, no, this is where the apostolic church reach. People pay for office. Uh, you have bishops that pay that, that persons come and give them money and them, and them just give them a survey ticket. Well, I have news, you only have a survey ticket. Because the survey ticket is not the office. Oh, Jesus, because many are called. But God don't give everybody office. Why? Office come by testing. Office come by trials. Mm, you got to pass the test. Promotion does not come from the east nor the west. Promotion comes from God. Hallelujah. And, and when the Bible said many are called but few are chosen. God, those chosen are God's select few. And Ella Mullins, while they was talking about the office, you know, the scripture that came to my mind was, 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 was Saul. Saul got the office of a king. And Saul lost that office. God can put you in an office. And the way you treat that office, God take it back from you. You see, God, when God gives eternal life, when God gives you the Holy Spirit, God don't take back the Holy Spirit. 
And Elabon is when in, in Psalm 51, when David said, Take not thy Holy Spirit from me. You, are, you think you think is the is the spirit of God he was referring to? No, he was office. speaking of the office of a king. Yes, sir. That's right. Yes. You see, that's what God took from Saul. You know, God said, I reject him from being king. God did not reject him from from, from eternal life. Uh uh. God reject him from being king. You know when Saul die or why Saul die? Saul died because he went and seek the woman of Endor. He seek a witch. That's why God killed Saul. But when God reject him from being king, God never said me I got kill you because of that. I said that to say that you can receive an office from God. And if you don't respect that place that God put you, you can lose the office. And if you think I'm lying, go to Job. Job got, uh, Job got the secret of being the richest man in his time. Job got uh, the secret of wealth. And you know what happened? You know what happened? The Bible said God took it back from Job. You know, read it in the Bible. When God took it back from Job, you know what Job said? Job said, The Lord give it. And the Lord take it away. But blessed be the name of the Lord. You know, because Job was not too concerned about, uh, about office, about, about wealth. He was more con 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 more. He was more, to him, it was more important to stay safe. So, so you have persons who, 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 are, who are focusing on office. Focusing on, 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 on being promoted in the church. Promoted on the job. Promoted in, in worldly affairs. When God is saying, it is more important for you to make sure you have the anointing. Make sure you are saved. Make sure you still have God in your life. Because if God take an office from you, if God take that promotion from you, the same God that take it away, he can give it back to you. Job said, he give it to me, he took it from me, and guess what? I'm going to bless the Lord. Oh, is there anybody in here that 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 that, that your heart your heart is not is not set on material things your heart is not your heart is not set on the accolades and 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 the things you can achieve in this life it's good to achieve it but that's not where your heart is your heart is to, is at a place oh god i want to make sure that the holy spirit is still in my life i'm safe oh jesus i'm experiencing the forgiveness of god i'm receiving i'm experiencing the joy i'm experiencing the peace Peace that passes all understanding. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. It's more important. And you see, you see, you see, you have some persons that they, they are so focused on people. They are their whole life based on people. They they so because their life is based on people people determine their joy people determine their future people control their worship like saul when saul lost the office saul should make sure he hold to the glory hallelujah he should make sure he was at a place when he said lord you can take away the money take away the office take away the but god Please make sure you kill Jesus. Make sure the joy is still there. Hallelujah. 
Shaya Basaya. Saul was a people person. If you, when you have time, you read first Samuel chapter 15. When Paul, Saul says, is because of the people why I lost my office. You, you see, you have many persons, they, their life is based on what people have to say about them. Their, their life is based on who like them from who not like them, who will fight them from who not fight them, and they live their life because of people. So, if your, your friends decide they don't need you to be their friends anymore, you can't praise God anymore. Hallelujah. If you lose that job, you don't have a relationship with God anymore. But I'm looking for, and God is looking for some people. Who don't base their life on how people think about them. Who don't, don't, you, you don't live your life based on who like you from who does not. Holy Jesus. Can I just stop to tell somebody that, that there was a man. Holy Ghost. Jesus. That there was a man who make up his mind that he's going to serve God. God and it doesn't matter who, who don't like him from who like him who is fighting him from who is not fighting him hallelujah because God hold the keys of my destiny God hold the keys of my future God is the one who controls tomorrow Jacob all his life he wrestled with people's opinion of him all jacob life jacob wrestled with what people think about him what people is saying about him there was a stigma holy spirit everywhere jacob go people see him as a liar as a trickster as a deceiver you're walking with me. You're walking with me. Until one day, Jacob stopped and said to himself, said, You know what? Let me separate myself tonight. Let me move out from the hustle and the bustle tonight. Jacob said, uh, 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 Wives, children, stay over there. And the Bible said Jacob went by the brook by himself. He's speaking to do a self-search. And the Bible said while Jacob was there searching himself, there appeared a man unto him. It was God manifest. God came in the form of a man and when Jacob saw the man, something moved. I think Jacob get a revelation. That night Jacob realized that, you know, I'm a God who hold my keys. Jacob realized that Jacob began to think with himself when he see the man. Jacob said, you know what? Nobody no control my future. Nobody, hallelujah, don't have my blessing. Nobody can stop me. And if you think you can stop me, watch when you the six foot six. When you underground, you are gonna see God raising me up. You are gonna be in a hell and watch God that use me. Oh, is there anybody in here is have a Jacob spirit? Anybody have a Jacob mentality? Anybody have a you know what Jacob said that night? Jacob said, I discovered tonight that man does not hold my breakthrough, that man does not hold oh Jesus my future. He said, Only God can do it. And Jacob said, God, you know what? I will not let 
you go until you fight the back until you turn the table until you turn situation i'm in a dark spot the devil is pointing his fear his hand in my face but God, you can turn my situation upside down i'm going to face a murderer tomorrow and god you is the only one that can kill the murderer and let your name be glorified I feel the power of God. Jacob said, I will not let you go until you, I mean you God, only you can do it. I don't have education. I don't have a trade. I don't have a family background. And I was looking all around to find a man to bless me, to find a woman to bless me, to find somebody to give me the breakthrough. But I discovered tonight that is not with man you are the only one so God I'm not going to let go of you until you bless me God turn and said to Jacob because you get this revelation your name shall be changed from a trickster from everything they put on you for what they say about you for how they think of you and I'm gonna change it you know they see you as a nobody they look on you as the worst one in your community but God says to Jacob Jacob as of tonight there is a shift in the heavenlies you shall no more be called Jacob but Israel a son of God a prince of God and you know why Jacob you have wrestled with men all your life until you reach to the place that people you can't please you know Bishop Elmond I try to please people you know you don't hear me I try to please people and I discover this thing that oh shy of a sigh. I, I discover this thing that they will smile with you and act like they love you and act like they respect you and when your back turn they are killing you on the inside I know the hypocrites them you know because God give me the revelation no hypocrite can hide this because I wrestle with men all my life and I see who are you turn against me you laugh with me today and tomorrow you want to see me ministry destroy you think you can't fool me you can't fool me and God tell me say the battle is not God said, up here, them don't mind me. I'm going to kill me, you see. You don't hear what I just said in the morning. Write down this in your diary. God tell me, say, somebody I got dead. And his name shall be glorified. Oosh. I feel the power. Sit down, let me talk to you. I said, sit down, let me talk to you. Because Jacob wrestled. He wrestled with people's ideas. He wrestled with what people have to say about him. He wrestled with how people look at him. He wrestled. My God. But he came to his senses. And he realized what people is. He realized that people he can't please. If you do good, you take out your heart. And you give it to them. They turn around. And they stab you tomorrow. Who am I talking to? Who am I talking? I reach your neighbor, say neighbor. Come on, say neighbor. Don't be moved by people flatteries. Don't be moved by people. Because Jesus was the green tree. And he went about doing 
good causing out devils and giving people healing people that was oppressed by the devil and the bible says jesus who went about doing good the people that he healed the people that he loved the people that he feed the people that he raised their dead they point on him and said crucify him crucify him and give us the thief you better point on your neighbor say neighbor if they did that to you to jesus they will do worse to you oh jesus until you discover people pitney kill father and father kill pitney wife kill husband and husband kill wife friend plot against friend and destroy one another so don't trust nobody and if you think i'm lying go look at psalm 20 verse 7 flesh is a failure and you dear not trust your own some trust in chariots some trust horses some trust princes some trust the other man the read that woman but there is some people in here tonight they put their trust in the lord and this is what the bible says they that put their trust in the lord they shall be or tell somebody they shall not be moved and they shall be like mount zion that shall never No trust. Nobody. Oh, I, I think I need to repeat that about five times in here. Me. No trust. You. And you know why me not trust you? Because God's a flesh is a failure. And you dare not trust your own flesh. Oh, stop, stop, neighbor, stop, stop, neighbor, stop, neighbor. My own flesh, the Bible at all. How much time you say you're not doing this? And you will never do this again. And you find yourself doing the same thing. And how much time you say you're not going to do this again? And you find yourself going back. You know why? Because of flesh that. Fellowship. So, Jacob said, Me. Stop. Wrestle with men. Oh Jesus. Oh, reach your neighbor, say neighbor. I'm not trying to win your love. I'm not trying to impress you. Because if you don't love me, and I pluck out my eye and I give to you. Oh shall you have a I said, if you don't love me, it doesn't care what I do. You just don't love me. Oh, Basaya. So I'm not trying to win your love. So Jacob was wrestling with the people in his community. He was wrestling to win. His father's love. He put on goat skin in cook the best soup to win his father. And him still never win his father. Oh, reach your neighbor, say neighbor. Come on, say neighbor, it's time for you to get the revelation. Stop trying to win people. Uh, uh, tell somebody, stop, stop wrestling with people, man. Stop, stop wrestling to impress people. I, I want people to come by your side. 
I want people to have fear right now. Yo. I want people to forget about people now, no man. Because if you win one, if you ever wrestle with God and win. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost, you know. I feel, oh, Shia. I, mm, I get that already, you know. So I can release it now. Me say. If you ever wrestle with God and win, you become unstoppable. Is there anybody in you want to win God? Is there anybody want God on his on your side? God on your side is more than the whole world against you. So I don't need to win the whole world. As long as I can win God, it's flat man. Throw your head back and say something. No. Throw your head back and say something, no man. Open me your mouth and say I'm winning. Mm, I'm winning. I'm wrestling with God, you know. Oh, reach your neighbor. Say neighbor, if it was for you, I wouldn't come church tonight. You don't hear me? I'm not talking about just you down here. Me, me. Bishop in San Diego. If it was for summer Uno, I wouldn't be in here tonight. You don't hear me say? Lord Jesus. You don't hear what I say? Me say if, it, if, if, it was, if it was for some of you, I wouldn't come to church down here. I would take the wings of the morning and fly to the utmost part of the earth. But guess what? I wrestle with the one who hold the keys of death and hell. And he told me, I love you. I am with you. He told me, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He told me when you go through the waters, I'm going through some right now. He said when you're going through the flood, he said when, when you're going through the fire, I learned this about Christianity. I learned this about Christianity. You can please your family members. You can please your friends, your church members. Oh, I have a son. I have a son. But I stop by to tell you tonight. It's time for you to wrestle with God and forget about people because your destiny is in God your future is in God your blessings is in God and if all of that is in God whoosh. I was at the barber shop today and the barber asked me about about the service, the, the funeral service. And I was just smiling. And uh, I, I, I said to the, to, to the barber, I said, Mr. Barber, there are thousands of denominations in Christianity. You don't hear what I said? Thousands and thousands of denominations, different groups in Christianity. And 98% of the thousands, this group can't fellowship with that group. 
This group said that groups are demon possessed. And this group hate that group over there. And because of that, there is no love among them. I turned to the Bible. I said, yesterday when I was preaching, I said, Christianity nowadays coming like Gully and Gaza. Don't look at me like that, you know. Christianity nowadays coming like Rima and Jungle. Lord Jesus. It coming like Iran and Israel. This is a set of Christian. I well want to hear so somebody over that said die. Lord Jesus. They just want to destroy each other. But I said to my Baba, you see this preacher. I'm not joining their war. I'm not getting in their conflict. Who want fight, fight. Who want war, war. But I'm not getting in your war, in, in, in your Gaza and Gully. And in your rim and jungle. Because God said by this, shall all men know that you are my disciple. If you love one another, I begin to speak to the barber because he's my barber for years now. I, I, I said to him, you see you? I said to my barber, you are an example down here. I said to him that what you do in Sablamar, you show all the barbers in Sablamar that you can come to something out of barbering because you are a barber and you're driving a nice car. Lord Jesus. And you're getting out of barbering. And he said, man, so true. But I said that because I wanted to say this. I turned to him and said, guess what? We see right now in Western Jamaica, God raised me up to send a message to all young preachers that you can come to something out of preaching. Lord, I feel the power of the Holy Ghost in here. Oh, Jesus, slap your neighbor, say, neighbor. I know you are going to fight me, but you can't stop me, you know. I know you are going to hit me, but you... I know you are going to chat me, you know, but you can't stop me. You know why? Who oh, God. You better open your mouth in there and slap one of those religious folks. I say slap one of those religious folks. Bad mind and confucius Christians that don't want to see you prosper. That don't want you to come to nothing in life. You better slap your neighbor say neighbor. I can't be a Christian and be an entrepreneur. I can't be a Christian. I own my own business. I can't be a child of God and be the head and not the tail. Let the devil swell big and push. For here when God said to Jacob, Blessings, I will bless. You better throw your head back. Sorry, no more questions tonight. Sorry, reach your neighbor said, No more questions tonight. Tonight is a night of release again. Tonight is a night of breakthrough again. Tonight is a night of outpouring again. And if you are on the Lord's side, you're going to want to be a part of this. You're not going to be one who wants this to go down. If you fight against this, you're fighting against God. And God's up on this rock. If you have a die, write down this. Anybody fight against this ministry, you're fighting against God. And you can't survive. I say you can't survive. Because you know, Herod tried it. Somebody said Herod tried it. Herod tried it. And God sent an angel. And the angel of the Lord smite Herod. And Herod worms eat him. And after seven days, Herod died. I stopped by to tell somebody that Saul of Tarsus, he tried to stop the church. And there was a light 
from heaven Ooh. and it hit him to the ground you know when Paul was on the ground what was his first words can I talk to you you want to hear what was Paul's first word Paul said what will thou have me to do oh Jesus reach your neighbor said that's what he said what in other words you see when God licked down Paul immediately it didn't get the revelation and said God him a fight and immediately I said God sorry I'm going to start work for you and the same people the same people that Paul a fight now got to hide him send him down in basket Lord Jesus Bishop you're going in you're going in can I tell you why can I tell you why anybody fight against God people die huh you want to hear my testimony you ready Someone say Rachel. Rachel. Jacob's first wife. That well, his, his chosen wife. Because you get Leah first, but he chose Rachel first. Can, can I tell you what Rachel said to, 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 to Jacob? He said, Give me children lest I die. Ah! Go in it. I'm going in. Saul so said, What is me if I don't preach? You don't hear what I say. When God hit him, he said, God, now I'm ready for work. Do. No, kill me. I'm ready for work for you. What will thou have me to do? Then he turned and said, What if I don't preach? Rachel said to Jacob, if you don't give me no pity, me, I kill myself. Oh, Jesus, Bishop, you're gone in. Bishop, you're gone in. Bishop, you Well, I tell God, God, raise me up to be the first preacher in Western Jamaica. To build you a mega church. I kill me. Go in. Shaya Basaya. Bishop Zachariah Nepal. He was an icon. One of the greats, he's numbered against the greats of all times. I see that man as the greatest Bible teacher. Oh, Shia. For the 20th and 21st century, his soul rest in peace. Shia Basaya, Holy Spirit. Bishop. Evan Evans. Ooh. Oh. That man carries the gift of miracle. Oh, Shia. Bishop Nepal carried the gift of teaching. And Bishop Ivan Evans carried the signs and wonders. Hallelujah. He was an icon. He moved the region of the West. Those two men hold the keys. One hold the key for St. Elizabeth and the other hold the key for Westmoreland. They are now deceased. They are now gone. The mantle that they wear is left in the earth realm. Oh, Shia Messiah. I don't know about you. Shanda. But I said, God, kill me. Take me out of the world. If you're not going to raise me up, 
I don't want to die. I don't want to live. God Almighty, I said, God, I don't want to live. If you're not going to use me, if I'm not going to be a tool in your hand, Lord, please take away all the hopes, take away the care, take away every cent. Me no want nothing. Shia Messiah. But God, please. Give me the keys to West Berlin. Give me the key to Saint Elizabeth. Give me the key to Hanover. Give me the key. Oh, I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. And I stand by to tell you, any one of you standing in the way, God say, I'm going to move you. Because you know I work for God. But me have a heart. Get up, three o'clock in the morning, try to keep start, just to something new in my life and I'm watching you move and while I was there some persons all over the world that I know desire to be my husband be my wife excuse me and I lie down on my back and I was scanning in my mind and some persons begin to pop up in my spirit and then I hear the Holy Ghost begin to minister to me. I says, he says, son, how can you marry somebody that go behind your back? Fear up your name. Speak all evil about you. How can the Spirit of God shine you? I reach your neighbor, say, neighbor, I mean, I no want married. Nobody will not like me. Nobody will always see me for me. How? Nobody will. Nobody will. We will even never have none. Oh, shh. I need somebody who wants to see the ministry bloom. The ministry strive. Want to see people live their lives to Jesus. Slip your hand in the air. Shy your father in the name of Jesus. I give you this situation one more time. God, if you call me to use me, everything that come up against what you call me to do, I give it to you tonight. Ooh. Shh. Every spirit of Jezebel that wants to kill the prophetic I place the Jezebel before you I was talking to Brother Spence. You remember Brother Spence? You remember Brother Spence? Brother Ainsley Spence. He was on the phone with me. You hear me, Ella Mullins? And, and, and I, we were on video call. So I walk over to the house and begin to give him a, a view of viewing of the, of viewing the house. And we were there talking. And, and Brother Spence said to me, Bishop, 
wonder if you remember the purple shirt. I'm not even sure if anybody remember the purple shirt. The way things was bad with me. I have one church shirt for over 15 years. Don't look at me like that. And I'm going to look at you some that wants Bishop Baker to be your husband. I wonder if they saw me in those, in that purple shirt. They would want to marry to me, but now they think this that, that, that some love bling bling. That's what they call it bling bling. Oh, Shia, oh, Jesus, oh, Lord. Mm, the message subside, man. The message turn. But reach your neighbor, say, neighbor, my good neighbor, take away the car, take away the house. Take away the children, but God, as long as you take not the Holy Spirit from me, don't take away the anointing, don't take away the glory, don't take away the power. Can I find five people in here that graduate people? Can I find five people in here that graduate people? Forget about people and know their faith. Their faith is on God. Their trust is in God. They are looking to the hills from whence coming my help. My help. I wonder where your help come from. All of my help coming from the Lord. Slip your hand in the air. You see me? I've learned some stuff in my Christian walk. I've learned some stuff. Can I testify and close? I say I've learned some stuff in my Christian walk. So when people act like they have the, the hunger, people act like they can destroy me. People act like they can tear up my name and, and let people see me as nobody and believe you have the hand go ahead because you are just going through a test baby and God should turn the table for Bishop Baker oh God I believe that enough touch your neighbor said God should change turn my table so you can look down on me now but God should turn my table who am I talking to I feel like testifying I feel like testifying I feel like testifying. You better throw your head back up your mouth and you give God a yet praise. Give God a yet praise. Don't wait until the battle is over. Give him a yet praise. Somebody said to me, Bishop. Bishop, I see something. And, uh, and, and when I see it, I just got to give God glory. Years ago, this is what the person testified. Years ago, when I was Brother Baker, oh, Shia Messiah. Oh, reach your neighbor, say, don't let my present position fool you. Come on, tell somebody, don't let my present position fool you. Because my present position is not an indication of my future potential in God. Don't let my broke days fool you. Don't let up your mouth, no man. Don't let my pit season fool you. Don't let my desert, my wilderness season. Don't let my folly. Oh, I feel the power of God. And the person said, Bishop, 
you came into a church and when you came into the church you sit down and when you sat down dear bishop the sister that you sat beside when she glanced and see you she just move away and after she move away she get up and start to speak in her tongues and start to rebuke you you was there and start to rebuke you and when they rebuke you I'm like, 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 scan you like you are, you are dumb. And all you did, Bishop, hold on your head and cry and pray. Shia Basaya. Oh, God, the person said, Bishop, I was in church, come here one day, and you sat, and you, you cheer. And while you were there on the chair, Bishop, guess who was in church? The same sister who skin up in nose who scorn you and rebuke you because they believe you demon possess oh shia messiah because you have on your old rugged pants and your old rugged jacket suit that you get from the salvation army they see you as nobody my god you was not refined my God, years later, they come to King Jesus Pentecostal Fellowship. And you sat down on your seat. And the person come and join the line. And when the person reach up to you, the person kneel down before you. And the person beg you for prayer. And when you finish praying for the person, the person beg you one of your wet rock. your wet rock the person take your wet rock and start to rub in face bishop you see that rock there you need you need you need blow your nose in there the person the bishop you need blow your nose in the rock and the person take the rock with the nose knot and the person rub the head rub the face and the person walk over to you and hug you up and never want to let you go where is the warriors in here man where is the warriors in here i stand by to release a prophecy today anybody ready for the word that god put in my spirit king jesus pentecostal fellowship Negril. our present position is not an indication of our future potential in god you see some around god left the ministry the ministry can't left them they shall run come back and when they reach when they come back the seat that they used to occupy somebody else i feel the power of the holy ghost in my belly you know? I say, oh, I feel God in my belly you know? Somebody slip your hand in the ear, open your mouth. Open your mouth. And say, God, this praise is a yet praise. Come on, tell somebody it's a yet praise. A yet praise is a praise in advance. It's a praise that you're saying, I'm not waiting until the battle is over i'm gonna praise god i'm gonna praise god in the valley for the god of the valley is the god of the mountain top you better throw your head back come on it's a yet praise oh i said it's a yet praise it's a praise in advance you don't have the food yet in the air listen to me now glance to your right glance to your left and say neighbor be careful how you treat me come on tell them be careful how you treat me I might be the one 
that have the keys to your very true. <laughs> Come on, reach your neighbor, say neighbor. Anybody anybody's obedient in the house of God, I want you to look at five people. And I want you to declare over your own life. You're going to say, neighbor, look at me good. I might be Jacob now. But Israel is about to release in my life. Come on, tell somebody, I'm wrestling with God. And before this night is over, I'm getting a name change. Come on, if you believe God in this house. I said, if you believe God in this house, open your mouth. And tell your neighbor, I might be a Jacob now. I might be a nobody now. But I'm wrestling with God. And before tonight is over. Before the night is over, there shall be a mighty turn in our round. You're ready for you're ready for the next. You're ready for the next level of revelation. Huh? You ready? Jacob wrestled with God. God so as a tear funny, God become man. Assume a body for just to, to, to just for a manifest, just to give a miracle. Notice this. He wrestled with that man, angel God. And the angel said to him, let me go because day is about to break. You ready for the revelation? You know why the angel asked Jacob to let him go before daybreak? Anybody want to know why? Because weeping only endure. But if you just wait until the daybreak. I am a child. I am a child. Nothing lasts forever. Everything is just for a season. Whatever you're going through now is just for a season. Come on, each your neighbor says it's just for a season. Whatever you're going through is just for a season. Your broke days is just for a season. Your single days is just for a season. Come on, your sick days is just for a season. Come on, your depressed days is just. watching on YouTube wherever you are you're going to open your mouth Facebook you're going to open your mouth and you're going to give God your best praise this praise is not just an ordinary praise this praise is a yet praise this praise is a praise you're saying God Whatever I'm going to, I'm not going to wait until you deliver me from this. I'm going to praise you until you do it. Come on, hands in the air to believe God in this. Weeping may endure for a night. You're going to give God a yet praise. You're saying God. You're saying God. 
I'm not waiting until the battle is over. I'm going to praise you in the midst of my struggle. I'm going to worship you in the midst of my stress. I'm going to worship you. Hallelujah. When no food is in the fridge. I'm going to worship you, God. Hands in the air. Come on. Hands in the air. Hands in the air. Get on your mind what you want God to do for you right now. Come on. Get on your mind what you want God. Get ready. One, two, three. One, two, three, shout! 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 Come on, warriors. Come on, push it up. Open your mouth and push it up. Open your mouth and push it up. Open your mouth. Yes, there's a shift taking place. I said there's a shift taking place. God is turning your situation. Right now, God Shout! is doing it for you. Right now, God. Yes! I said God is doing it right now. Open your mouth and praise him. I said open your mouth and praise him. Open your mouth and magnify him. Open your mouth and glorify him. Open your mouth. Come on, praise him. Open your mouth and praise him. Hallelujah. Come on, keep the praises going. Hallelujah. Keep the praises going. Hallelujah. Keep the worship going. your God says he's going in the bedroom and God says there's a spirit that comes and go in the bedroom go in and lay my hands and you the angels of the Lord shall find that spirit arrest ah, him hallelujah and give you the victory because God shall raise you up Jesus. God says he's not true with you yet hallelujah. there's a work that God have in store there's a work that God have you to do when I lay my hands on you, God is not only touching you, but God is touching your husband. And I hear the Holy Ghost that there'll be a turning around. Yes. Get ready, worshipers. It's not by might. It's not by power. It is by my spirit. Says the Lord. One, two, three. 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 Yes. One, two, three. It's one, two, three. It is by my spirit. One, two, three. One, two, three. By none. But since I have the ID in the mighty name of Yeshua, I'm a sure. I'm on right here now. Hallelujah. He's fighting your battle right now. Yes. No weapon form against you. Yes. The battle is not yours. Yes. It belongs to God. He's fighting for you right now. Jesus. Come on, somebody, open your mouth if you believe. Open your mouth if you believe. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and shout a hallelujah. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and shout a glory. Come here. Come here. Come here. Stand up here. Come on, worship us. Keep them praises on. Up your mouth and believe God right now. I say, up your mouth and believe God. When I lay my hand on your God, say he's going to give you a shift in your life. Oh, Jesus. 
there is something that follows you from you are a child. Shia Messiah. I said there is something that follows you from you are a child. And that demon come and he sit on you and he want he suck you out if you eat he eat with you if you sleep he sleep with you mm, shia messiah you wrestle with that spirit but today god says he's breaking the curse yes he's driving that spirit yes to a far country as of today the yoke is destroyed yes as of today that spirit will be arrested and be driven to a far country not tomorrow not next week but that spirit that demonic spirit shall be smitten by the angels of the most high god not tomorrow not next week but in the name of jesus christ of magic be here now be Yes, be loose, Jesus. I drive that spirit. Yes, I drive that demon. Yes, I command him to get off. You see where he come on. Yes, I drive him off now. Yes, Shire. now I serve him notice. If it's a notice, now move, get out, now. never to return by the fire of God. Oh, hallelujah, glory. Ooh. Now I release a fresh anointing over your life. Now I release a new anointing, an anointing of fire, an anointing of restoration. Not only your health is being restored, yes. but, 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 in your mind. Oosh. Hallelujah! Where is the warriors? Glory. We are releasing now! Somebody help us! Help Hallelujah! Somebody help us! Glory! Here it comes! Here it comes! Here it comes! Yes. Hallelujah! Here it comes! Somebody help us! Of your mouth! Hallelujah! Of your mouth! Accept them! Jesus! Of your mouth! Accept them! Jesus! Of your mouth! Glory! 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 I just said something. I just said something. I just said something. Glory. Sister Chucky. She's not here tonight. Every one of the family members around there that is here, come now. Hallelujah! I see a running. I see three boys are running and a fire shot. But we reverse that tonight. You know? Hallelujah! Glory! Ooh. Glory! Glory! Jesus! Come on, warriors, it's not by might. I say it's not by my glory. glory. It's not by power. Jesus! It is by my spirit. My, my Hallelujah! Glory! High time. Shire. Hallelujah. After three, we're gonna shout Jesus over them. I'm gonna call that name by faith. God shall send his angels to every member of the family. And we are declaring blood coverage. Up me about why are these two flags? Hallelujah! Blood coverage. Blood coverage. Somebody said Cover them, Jesus. Cover them, Jesus. From vile and evil men, cover them, Jesus. From gunmen, cover them, Jesus. Cover them, Jesus. From gunshots, gun cover them, Jesus. Cover them, Jesus. Shall you stretch your hands towards them? This is to go to your son. Try to send it because when it reaches to him, there will be a mighty turning around. Hallelujah! Come on, stretch your hands, warrior. Stretch your hands. I say, stretch your hands, warrior. Stretch your hands out the tree. Just say, Ushaya. Just say, Jesus. One, two, three. 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 Blood coverage, blood coverage, blood coverage now. Blood coverage, blood coverage now. Blood coverage, blood coverage now. 
blood coverage now. Cover, cover. Don't be about that. There's no weapon. No weapon. That is harm against that your is family. Harm against you. Shall brass my every Shall tongue. Every 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 tongue. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, oh, blood of Jesus. Come on, warriors, open your mouth and say something. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Open your mouth and say something. Jesus, who the Son set free, Jesus, it's free indeed. Open your mouth. I say open your mouth and break every curse. Break, try every yoke. Come on, keep the praises on glory, glory, glory. Come here, son, as he's glory, coming. Glory, glory, glory. Come here, as son. Shine your eyes, glory. As he's coming, son. Glory, shine your eyes, hallelujah. Glory, Jesus. Everybody, set your hands towards him. We're hiding him tonight. Somebody say we're hiding him tonight. We're hiding him tonight. Push. Hallelujah. We're hiding him tonight. I hear, I hear some boy, I hear some boy talking some things. Oh, shy, I want to done you. But today we are hide you, hide you, hide you. Somebody say, hide him under the blood. Hide blood, him under the blood. Hide him under the blood. Blood, blood, blood. After three, all you need to shout is the blood of Jesus over him. And watch God fix the situation. One, two, three. 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 Yes. Deliverance, deliverance, yes. deliverance, deliverance, yes. deliverance, 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 deli
Songwriter said, Fill my cup. Fill my cup. I lift it up. Bread of heaven. Feed, feed me. Till I want no more. Don't come to church as spectators. Too much spectators is in Negro. Too much tail bearers. And too much ban wackerness. God says it's time for you to be serious in the church. Grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Tell somebody there's a shift. There's a shift. Listen to me, he that have an ear to hear, let him hear. God says, son, you see that choir? I wanted to search it. Because if you don't search, I'm going to kill somebody up there. Write it down. Oh, Shia. It's better you stay down here and live. Yes, sir. Than get up there and die. He that have an ear to hear. All of you who are hiding in a bleach. Please, we don't need no bleaching up there. You know the standard of the church. Can I close from Facebook now, from YouTube now? Somebody said, goodbye, YouTube. We love you. Goodbye, YouTube. Come on, say, YouTube, we love you. But we're finished for the night. Why? We're, we're, we're going to deal with some indoor stuff now. Come on, touch somebody say we're going to deal with some family matters. When you come.